I am looking just really good today. Like my extensions are well hidden. My hair's not greasy. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is a Monday and I have had, there's just a lot going on as you, I feel like I'm just going to be saying that till the day that I die. But, um, yeah, I've been wanting to get, I wasn't even going to film today. And then I was like, I have so many random little projects that I want to do today. I've decided today to completely ignore my adult life in the sense of like emails and contracts and mortgage and homeowners insurance stuff and like all of these things that I have just sitting over my head. The IRS bill that I got recently from 2021, like all this just random stuff that's like I didn't even want to think about. So I'm going to ignore all that. And I decided to tackle some things today that like I've just been ignoring and putting off. So I thought, why not film a little bit of it? And if you wouldn't mind, I would love to just like word vomit even further at you because my counselor told me to do like less of that at my husband. Uh, so yeah, I just feel like my house is in complete disarray. I've decided that there are way too many things in our pantry and I'll show you what I've done in there already this morning. Um, I've also decided that Nick and I have both decided that there are way too many toys in this house. And you know how when you buy a toy, it has all these little pieces and you start seeing like the egg that goes to the one thing like over here and in there and that's happening. And it actually kind of drives me crazy. I would really like to go through the toys. That's kind of like one of the big things today. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but and then another thing is that we have so many clothes for the kids in bins, in bags. They're in Harlow's room. They're in this room. They're in my office. They're over here. They're over there. They're all over the place. And I need to change my fish's water. I change his water every single week. So I'm doing it today. So I absolutely hate there being things on my pantry, like countertop, but look at it. <laughs> so I cleared out, I think it's this one that I did. Nope. I cleared out this entire one and I need to clean it and put some little protectors on there, but I'm trying to organize this better because a lot of our baking stuff is down here and it's just not that easy to get to. And this is a whole mess right here. Like this is a disaster. Like what is that? All of this is, this is okay, but like I kind of need that space. Um, so yeah, I definitely, so I kind of organized this a little bit better. So anyways, this whole pantry needs an overhaul. Like we have, this is just not organized well at all. This is like a freaking disaster right here. So that definitely needs some help. But first things first, I need to get my fish out of his saltwater little bath. So we are going to change my fish's water. This is my fish tank and um, my little guy's over here in his little little bath thing. So let's go ahead and clean this out. Is that a fucking coyote? Dude, there's a coyote just cruising down the horse trail. Wow. Just all by himself. What the heck? Good thing my chickens aren't out. give that water I turn the heater on in the water I'm gonna give that a couple more minutes to heat up and then we can put my fish back in there I am just like waiting and waiting and waiting for my Nespresso to be delivered I um, <clears throat> was hoping that it would come early this morning it's out for delivery but I have other flavors I just as it turns out only like one single Nespresso espresso flavor Maybe that is the UPS man with my package. That would be so cool. 
I wanted to also show you these teethers that I just got. Wyatt has four molars coming in at the same time. So um, he's got all, all the sides. So I bought these specifically because they are for um, molars and like teething. So this is the first one I got. And I spent $20 total on all this on Amazon. So I'll leave the links for you guys if you're interested. We had a different version of this, but I think this one would work pretty well. It's kind of like a toothbrush a little bit. So I wanna try that one. And these ones I actually really think would be good. I had straws like this before and he wasn't super interested, but I like this one with like the handle. And I can also attach it to him, which I think could be good. And it comes with like a little cleaner too. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna test those out tonight because his teeth are definitely hurting him. And he's like trying to, none of the teethers that I have of course work. So probably these won't either, but fingers crossed that he can get some relief and like get one of these like back, back there to actually chew on. So yeah, and you guys hear that banging noise? That's my tortoise. He is just banging his shell against the side of his enclosure. So I'm actually gonna put him outside in my big, aviary enclosure thing outside and that is a whole nother video coming soon on my animal channel hopefully um nick and i just talked the other night about totally decking it out decorating it doing the pond feature in it all the things we have so many projects guys like i literally sound like a crazy person <sighs> my dining table inevitably is always the catch-all and i hate it this whole room <laughs> needs to be organized we are waiting to do a new mantle over here, but as you can see, I just have started putting all sorts of random stuff here. So let's put these clothes away and go from there. Look at Harlow's little potty draining underwear. These ones actually have like the little thicker pieces in the front, which is really cool. And they come in cute little patterns. I was hoping that my child would never be obsessed with Coco Melon, but here we are. YouTubing is so easy. You just like move the camera around with you all day long and it's like super easy to just film every little bit of everything that you're doing. You know what I mean? And then like you pretend like you set your camera up and then you pretend like you're walking in the room for the first time. It's great. While we are in here, let me show you. This is just a section of the clothing that we have that needs to go somewhere else, but check this out. This is all clothing that doesn't fit anymore that needs to be taken out of here. And there's even more in my office. Oh, that's where our winter uh, comforter is. I was actually wondering where that was like last night. There it is. And um, for some reason, in case anyone needs one of those, that's also in here. Another thing on the to-do list today is I would love to, you know what? We're in here, let's do it. We're gonna get rid of all this. Dad keeps putting Harlow in pajamas that don't fit. And so she doesn't want to wear onesies anymore because her feet hurt every time Nick puts her in one because I have not done a good job at making sure all the old stuff that doesn't fit anymore is out of here. So anything below 2T, we're going to remove. <laughs> This is all I removed, so I've actually done a better job than I thought keeping that drawer uh, up to date in terms of sizing. It's time to go 
go outside, Timmy. Timothy. There you go. Have fun today. We've got a lot of space to go explore. I heard that. So it sounds like one of the babies needs help. I don't know why the mama is not. So I'm a little concerned about our baby. So we have three baby chicks that hatched while we had. Yesterday came down, there's three of them, all good. Last night, one was totally missing when we went to put every, make sure everyone was in their coop. And now this one doesn't look so good. I found the body of the one from yesterday, sadly, in the middle. I don't know what happened to it. We kind of were like, we're letting nature run its course kind of deal, but this little one's all wet and I'm not really sure why. Um, check this out. <clears throat> My neighbor's peacocks, just like right here. Hi, can I help you, ma'am? Eggs. A one. So a few of these eggs are fertilized, actually. The, these ones, but I don't think she's been sitting on these ones well enough like they should have already hatched by now so i don't think those are gonna happen hopefully everything's good but i just wanted to make sure they weren't like attacking her or something someone asked me if we hatched them here or got them because you can't put new baby chicks in with like an old flock or whatever they will usually attack them and kill them um but we the mama hen usually protects them down there when they like when you hatch your own so she hatched those guys oh, of course i wore my comfy comfies in because i thought there was an emergency and look uh. it's time to organize some toys i've been kind of putting this off because i know that my brain is just going to be like and I'm gonna bring in the bins that I have in the garage because I have realized that some of the stuff that's in those bins, that it has pieces out here. Wish me luck. So these behind the couch, this is all kid stuff. So I bought little magnets, this was Nick's idea, so that these can only be opened. So like for instance, like all we have to do is like open one of these at a time and that's all the kids can get into so that they can't just like open all of these because why will sit here and pull everything out of here and it'd be nice to just like have only one of them open, so. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like these go to different things and then, oh my goodness, can we just talk about all the stuff underneath my couch. These are the toys I'm gonna get rid of. I'm going to gift to somebody, I'm not sure. And then these bins are actually not even really that full. But between this, these, and what's in the cabinets, those are the only toys other than those couple little things up there that my kids have. So I feel like I thought we had just like a ton of stuff, but we kind of don't. I feel like that's actually not bad. Okay, wait, I am lying a little bit because over there, see that? That, this box right here, that's Play-Doh stuff and some Polly Pocket stuff and craft stuff in there. So other than that, that's it. Almost done here. And I had a schedule. I decided that I was going to set some stuff up on the coffee table for when the kids get home from daycare so that they can have some fun new stuff to play with. Wyatt um, lately has been very hard to um, manage. <laughs> he just gets into everything. 
hoping that I can pack up a Mercari package I need to ship out. And um, also I have like three or four Amazon returns that I just like have to get out of my house. Uh, so yeah, let's finish up. Well, my coffee never came, so I'll have to have the only one that I can stand in here, which is the decaf. Did you, have you guys ever gotten an Airhead, the mystery one that is lemon flavored? They don't even make a lemon Airhead, I don't think. I was like, maybe that's the mystery of it, I guess, but I was like, ew. Well, you know what? I feel like I did pretty dang good today. I feel pretty accomplished. I definitely wish I had a few more hours to dive into kind of moving some of the clothes that I showed you and getting it all in one place. You tell me what you think. Do I pull it all out into the living room or the dining room, the catch all, and organize it? So then we see how many bins we need, or do I just buy a ton of bins first that I like, that I think are good, clear, stackable, whatever, and bring them back to the nest and then do it? What would you guys do? I don't know. You're gonna have to help me out on that one. All right, I'm about to take my coffee, go drop these off at the uh, mailbox and head over to pick up my kiddos. And I'll have to let you know what Wyatt thinks about the molar um, teethers. I'll, uh, we'll see, more to come on that. You know what? I just had to get back on here because look at this. I was like, hmm, what is this mess on the ground? Before I came in here, this door was open. One of my cats, y'all, crawled into my tortoise enclosure and probably peed in there. Oh. Jessica? Jessica! I paused it. That's what happened. Do you need to go potty? No, thank you. You haven't gone potty for like an hour or something? Can we just try on your little potty? Yeah, we're gonna try in a minute when I hang up, uh, when I, when I hang up, when I hang up this phone. Uh, so far, uh, teething toys have, uh, not been a hit. I have tried two. He has thrown them on the ground immediately, so... This one, at least I can clip to his shirt, so maybe in the car, he'll like have nothing else to do but to like learn how to use it. So we'll see. Oh, wow, look at you go. Look at you go. Be careful. Careful. All right, let's try and go potty. Oh, Bubba, that one has a straw. You have to tilt it down. That's sissy's water. <laughs> On that note, we're gonna go potty. It's been a day. I feel pretty successful. I got a lot done. I was feeling very overwhelmed this morning and I'm still feeling overwhelmed. That hasn't dissipated. However, I feel like I got a lot done today. So I'm feeling good about that. I also need to write in Wyatt's baby book, which is why I pulled it out. It's right over here because he took his first steps on his 14 month birthday. Is that how you say that? Um, so pretty awesome. Uh, that was just a few days ago and he's taken a few pretty much every day, like four, like to me. So it's been pretty magical. Um, so I got to fill that out, but time for her to go potty, him to go to bed and mama to probably make myself a martini. I did just get some blue cheese stuffed olives for myself. So yes, martini, martini, martini. Do you like martinis? No. Can you say bye? Bye. You say have a good night. Have a good night. Say hasta luego. Hasta luego. Ah, uh ah, -uh, those are for restaurants for brother. Please give those to me. Harlow, Laura.
I'm gonna give you to the count of five to make the right choice and bring them back to me. One, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Can you say, love you everyone? I love you everyone. Go, mwah. <laughs> Good job, thank you. Good job, you smart girl.